In the evenings, the little hedgehog went to visit his friend, the bear cub. They would sit on a log outside the bear cub's house and sip tea while gazing at the starry sky. It hung over the roof just behind the chimney. The stars to the right of the chimney were the bears and those to the left were the hedgehogs. If the horse lies down, will it choke in the fog? And slowly, he began to make his way downhill, so as to get into the fog and see for himself what it was like inside. Oh, look, I can't even see my paw. Horse? But the horse didn't reply. You can't get me. He's crazy.
aming pe. Now I'm in the river, I'd better let the river carry me along, decided the little hedgehog. He sighed deeply and began to float slowly downstream. Suddenly, someone touched his back paw. Excuse me, a voice said quietly. Who are you? And how did you get here? I'm a hedgehog. I fell in the river. Then climb on my back. I'll take you to the shore. Mention it, said the voice. You hedgehog! Where on earth were you? I called and called, but you didn't answer. I've already got the samovar going on the porch and taken out the wicker chair to make it more comfortable to count the stars. I thought he's bound to come soon. We'll sit down and have some tea with strawberry jam. You have brought the strawberry jam? Yes. And I've got the samovar going and I'm going to put these twigs on the fire. You got the juniper twigs? Of course, juniper twigs. Only now I'm too flustered to count the stars. <laughs> and it's all your fault for being late and giving me such a fright. The bear cub talked and talked, and the hedgehog thought, how nice after all that we're back together. And then the hedgehog thought about the horse. How was she getting on? Out there, in the fog. And the animation continues next on Forward.